Hey everyone, Dave here for Peace Camera. In this week's video, we're going to do a review of the Manfrotto NitroTech M8 Fluid Head. A big thanks to Bill Sanders over Manfrotto for sending this unit out for me to review. Um, I've been looking for a heavier duty tripod head, so now that I'm shooting with cinema cameras, and I really wanted something nice and heavy duty that I can easily use um, and not have to worry about the payload. So now what's this different about this tripod head is not only the amount of weight it can hold, it can hold up to 17 pounds, but this is a continuously counterbalanced head, which means if you've ever shot with regular fluid head before, if you have it loose and you hold your, your camera, like say you're panning down and then you let go, it's automatically going to move back up or fall down completely depending on how it's, um, how it's set. And with this, you can set it to the angle you want and let go and it'll stay at that angle. So it's continuously counterbalancing using this nitrogen piston that's right here in the center. So to set it up is a little more complicated than your regular fluid head, but once you get it set up, it works really amazing so I'm going to show you that as well so just going around the head you have a few controls here is the knob that you're going to use to set your counterbalance with the nitrogen piston on the side here you have got your uh, your tilt controls so you have a tension here and how heavy you want to have it all loose right now and then on the bottom you have your fluid drag system so you set for your pans um, like I say I have everything set very loose right now so what I'm going to do is first off we're going to put the camera on the, the head itself. This takes to your standard uh, Manfrotto long plate. And to put the tripod, this onto the tripod, instead of sliding it in from the back like you're normal, you're gonna go in from the side and then press down, you're gonna hear it lock. And now you, what you wanna do is now we're gonna kinda balance it on here where it's not wanting to fall over while it's loose. And then once it is, all you have to do is press back on this lever here and it's gonna lock it in nice and solid. So now that we have that kind of balance on here, now we are going to start doing the counterbalance of the tripod by screwing this piston in. So now we are going to go tighter. And what we want to do is get it to the point when we have it down here, it doesn't want to go back. So we're getting closer almost there just a few more turns probably and there you go you so you can see so now i have it set i let go it's like that i want to put it here it's it's good if i want to point it all the way down it's good i'm not having to worry about it wherever i let it go it stays there one of the nice benefits of having a counterbalance tripod like that um, it's going to allow you also to have much smoother pan and tilt as well so now to set my uh, tilt tension all i have to do is rotate this inner screw here to get my desired tension i'm good there and then on the fluid drag system i can down here for my pans i could just rotate that to the tension i want i get nice beautiful smooth pans um, this also has a level in it uh, so you can get it level out in the field and it even has a little um, light built into it that you could use just a little uh, little watch battery in there and you can if you're working at night and you want to make check the level you can do it by pressing a button and the level will light up now when you want to take this off the tripod um, it's a little more trickier here so we got a little release button back here so what you got to do is hold down that button and push forward at the same time and then it'll lift off. So a little trickier than your other heads, but once you get used to it, it's not that bad at all. And then again, you wanna put it back on the tripod. You're just gonna go in on an angle here, lock it in and you are good to go and we are balanced. So this head is a little on the pricey side. It retails for $450. Um, so definitely a little bit pricier than your normal fluid heads, but if you're going to be using any big of a payload or want to have the features like this with the counterbalancing all the time, I highly suggest it. I think I'm going to have to buy this one for myself. So if you'd like to order one for yourself, we don't normally keep these in stock. Just come on down or, and see us at the store or give us a call and we can order one for you. We're at 5039 Falls and News Road in the Quail Corner Shopping Center, Corner Falls and News in Millbrook, or give us a call here at the store, 919-836-2222.
So if you like this video, please do hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to us. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as I put out new videos every single Friday. And leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this head. And that's going to do it for this week's video. And I'll see you all next week. Wait, wait, wait. Before I go, I just want to let you guys know that our manager and repair tech, Steve, He's retiring at the end of this month. Uh, May 31st is his last day. So if you gain knowledge from Steve, been a customer of Steve's for a while, um, come, make sure you come by and say goodbye to him. We are gonna miss him around here. Um, he is a wealth of knowledge and has forgotten more about cameras than most any of us here at the store have learned about. So he's been a great resource for us. Um, a lot of the repair stuff that he was able to do is going away with him, um, but we're still be able to do some basic repairs here. So make sure you come by and say goodbye to Steve.